Now let's talk about Amazon QLDB, which stands for Quantum Ledger Database. So what is it? A ledger is a book recording financial transactions. And so QLDB is going to be just to have a ledger of financial transactions. It's a fully managed database. It's serverless, highly available, and has replication of data across three availability zones. And it's used to review history of all the changes made to your application data over time. That's why it's called a ledger. So it's an immutable system as well. That means that once you write something to the database, it cannot be removed or modified. And there is also a way to have a cryptographic signature to make sure that indeed nothing has been removed. So how do we? How does it work? Well, there is behind the scenes a journal, and so a journal has a sequence of modifications. And so anytime a modification is made, there is a cryptographic hash that is computed, which guarantees that nothing has been deleted or modified. And so this can be verified by anyone using the database. So this is extremely helpful for financial transactions because you want to make sure that obviously no financial transaction is disappearing from your database, which makes QLDB a great ledger database in the cloud. So you get two to three times better performance than common ledger blockchain frameworks. And also you can manipulate data using SQL. Now, as you'll see in the next lecture, there's also another database technology it's called Amazon Managed Blockchain. But the difference between QLDB and Managed Blockchain is that with QLDB, there is no concept of decentralization. That means that there's just a central database owned by Amazon that allows you to write this journal, okay? And this is in line with many financial regulation rules. So the difference between QLDB and Managed Blockchain is that QLDB has a central authority component and it's a ledger, whereas Managed Blockchain is going to have a decentralization component as well, okay? So that's it. Anytime you see financial transactions and ledger, think QLDB. I will see you in the next lecture.